सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल एंड दिस इज़ गोइंग टू बी द ट्वेल्थ चैलेंज इन थर्टी डेज और रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव दी प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट विच इज़ क्रिएट अ कम्पोनेंट दैट फेच इज़ अ लिस्ट ऑफ आइटम्स फ्राम इन ए पी आई एंड डिसप्लेस दम इन अ पेजिनेटेड मैनर इंक्लूड नेक्स्ट एंड प्रीवियस बटन टू नेविगेट थ्रू पेजेस सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट पेजिनेशन एंड वी हैव टू फेच दी ए पी आई रिस्पॉन्स फ्राम एनी ए पी आई सर्वर सो यू कैन यूज़ एनी अदर ए पी आई रिस्पॉन्स वी हैव लाइक जेसन प्लेस होल्डर और एनी अदर ए पी आई सो आई एम जस्ट नेविगेट टू जेसन प्लेस होल्डर डॉट टाइप को डॉट कॉम एंड दिस इज़ बेसिकली अ फ्री फेक ए पी आई फॉर टेस्टिंग एंड प्रोटोटाइपिंग सो यू कैन यूज़ इट सो जस्ट स्क्रॉल डाउन एंड यू कैन सी वी हैव दिस पोस्ट एंड पॉइंट एंड वेन आई हिट दिस ए पी आई आई विल गेट अ हंड्रेड ऑफ एरे ऑफ यूजर्स इंडेक्सिंग फ्राम जीरो टू हंड्रेड सो दैट इज़ समथिंग यू कैन यूज़ सो इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल मेक स्योर डेट यू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो डैट यू डोंट मिस दी ऑसम वीडियोज़ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फेच दी ए पी आर रिस्पॉन्स सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू थिंग्स वन इज़ द यूज स्टेट एंड अनदर वन इज़ द यूज अफेक्ट सो नाउ वी विल मेक वन यूज अफेक्ट एंड इन साइड यूज अफेक्ट वी विल कॉल वन फंक्शन विच इज फेच पोस्ट and uh, we will make one variable const url and we will provide a url from this endpoint so we will copy this and uh, we will paste it here and this function the fetch post accept a url okay and now we have to define this function we will remove this third dependency so we will write const fetch post is equals to async is synchronous function and it will accept a uri now we will use try catch method of javascript for error handling we will write const response is equals to await fetch this uri now we will write const data is equals to response we will convert our response into json now we will log our data to see the api data and by chance if the api response fails so we will write error console dot error and in that we will display our error dot message so after doing this and if i navigate to our web page which is localhost 5173 and pagination so i think i haven't started my server yet i will write yarn dev and after that my server is running so you can see uh, we have this ui currently and we will go to our console to see the data so you can see uh, we have this promise okay so i think something is missing okay so i have to write await response dot json so that we will wait for converting the response into json so now you will see we are getting 100 of array of users and same you can see in the network also we have this post api and success 200 status code so this is basically a basic knowledge or you can say basic code for fetching an api response you can use this part of code in any other react application or any other application which is developed using javascript so this is a basically a simple method so so now we will proceed to our pagination part so for that we will make one state post and we will store all the hundreds of array of users into this state so for storing it we will make this an empty array okay and here we will update the final state into data so now we will need one another state which is use state for the current page okay so current page state help us to see the data in the next or previous pages so if the user navigate to other page so it will increment by plus 1 and if the user will try to see the previous page so it will decrease the uh, basically the count okay so we will use the arrow function for that and initially it will be 1 okay so with the help of on click function we will decrease and increase it to plus 1 and minus 1 now we need another state 
which is for the total number of pages we have okay so set total pages and currently it is one now we will make one variable const total count header response dot headers dot get x total count okay now we will make one another variable const total count is equals to total count header if present then parse int to total count header and 10 and if it is not present so it will be 0 now we will update our set total pages into math dot seal total count by 5 so we will initially show 5 array of users now we have to map our post so for that post dot map post we will use key post dot id key is basically a string attribute uh, we should use when we are creating array of elements so now we need s3 and inside s3 we will display our post dot title okay and we can write something like this also title is post dot title we will give this class name also of title now p dot para for paragraph and inside paragraph we will write body post dot body ok so by doing this you can see so currently what is happening we are getting total hundreds of data here ok hundreds of array of user but we want only 5 data to be present initially and with the help of on click we will increment that data and same will be decrement that data okay so that, that we call the pagination part so here we will make one another div and inside div we will write button which will be previous and in between buttons we will write one span also okay which basically gives the page number so page current page of total pages we will give the class name to a page we will make one another button for the next data so we will give this class name also btn btn primary now we need one on click function handle previous page and here on click handle next page we will define this function here const handle previous arrow function of javascript and we will check if the current page is greater than 1 then only we will navigate to previous page so set current page is equals to current page minus 1 ok and same we will copy this function here const handle next arrow function we will write if current page 
is less than total number of pages then only we will increment our page so set current page from current page to plus one so now we want to disable our button when the array length becomes zero okay so these things basically enhance the ui part okay and it also enhance the user experience so current page equals to equals to one okay if the current page is equal to equals to one then it will disable that part of button so now disable here also is equals to current page equals to equals to total number of pages it will become equal then this button is also get disabled so now after doing this okay so currently also i am getting hundreds of array of user so i think i am missing something so basically i have to provide this current page into this dependency array okay so whenever the current page state change it will re-render the use effect and it will re-render the api response also okay so currently also i'm getting hundreds of array of users so i think i have to modify this endpoint also page current page and we have to set limits also limit equals to 5 now it will work now you will see we have this page 1 data so if i click on the next button you will see the page 2 data will get failed same if i click on next button again same the page 3 data will get failed and if i click on the previous i will go back to the second page and if i click again previous then i will go to the first page and the previous button will get disabled because we have this uh, we have provided this disable functionality when current page equals to equals to 1 and same if the next button if the page 1 of 20 let's suppose if i click on next button and you will see page 20 out of 20 and now next button will get disabled because current page is equal to equal to total number of pages so that is something so this is the logic we have implemented we have first fetch the api response and then with the help of handle next page and handle previous page we have implemented our functionality so this is it and if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching